Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and today I am here with a sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club. So thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. This is going to be one of their new releases this week. It is coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, December 23rd, one of the last new releases of the year. And the kit I have to share with you guys today is called The Spiral by Ivy Dolomore. And this is one that I remember seeing this image in voting a while ago. And I think a lot of people are going to be really excited to see that this one is here. I really love Ivy Dolomore's artwork and I've completed a couple of pieces by them uh, from Diamond Art Club and it turns out beautifully. This kit's going to have a square shaped diamonds. It's going to be 22 by 31 inches or 55.8 by 78.7 centimeters and I was looking at the rendering on this one in the social media preview that went up today and I am really curious to see it on the campus. So anyway, as far as the box goes and the packaging, there's some blue branding here for their square drill diamond painting kit. So it'll be pink if it's rounds. On the back, there's some info about how to diamond paint and your kit contents. And there is a QR code down here that you can scan for 10% off your purchase. Now, if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and thinking of making your very, very first purchase, I do have a discount code for 20% off that you are welcome to use. Um, it's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. I also have a link down in my description box that you are um, welcome to use if that is easier. Now, those are an affiliate link and code, so I may make a small commission should you choose to use them. Please do not feel obligated whatsoever. You're gonna see some other discount codes just in this video, and there are others out there as well. I would just gently suggest that you take advantage of at least just one of those discount codes <laughs> because at this point it feels like Diamond Art Club doesn't even want us to be paying full price. You're gonna get a toolkit that's gonna to have everything you need in here to do your diamond painting. Let's take a quick look. All right, so let's see. You are going to get a pen and a squishy. The color on those will vary. You're also going to get some thin plastic multi-placers. Multi if you'd like to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time, you can pop those in the end of your pen. And then you're also going to get some wax. It's gonna come in this little container. And there are a couple of little wax plates in here. And you wanna make sure you peel back that thin plastic film before you try to uh, load up your pen. You're also going to get a bag of baggies. You can store your leftover diamonds into here if you like. And here is a tray with a removable tray stopper, which kind of helps with stopping the di diamonds from sliding out. We've also got a pair of tweezers with a convenient cover here. Um, actually, those are not as sharp as I often see their tweezers, which is kind of nice actually, but I am gonna keep the cover on there just in case. Some of their tweezers, are these like a slightly different I don't know, those seem just something about holding them. They feel like a little bit different. I'm like, do they change up the tweezers? Anyway, you're gonna get a roll of washi tape. The print on it is going to vary. This one happens to match the color scheme of this kit really well though. And you're also going to get a cover minder, which these will vary in style as well. There's magnets on the back. You can use this to hold back the plastic cover while you're diamond painting if you like. By the way, as far as washi tape goes, if you're curious about how you can use that, with a diamond painting. I do have a video that's actually dedicated to uh, explaining some ways you can use washi tape with diamond painting and demoing it and whatnot. So that'll be linked in the description box below this video if you'd like to take a look. You're also gonna get this smaller logbook sticker. This one's a little crumpled. That's <laughs> okay, the sticker doesn't appear to be damaged. But I like to use this in my in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. I like that it has the original artwork and the stats and the title and, and the artist. Some people will use this on the side of the box to help organize their stash a little bit better, or you could find you know, something else creative to do with it. Everything else is gonna be included in this plastic bag, or dust cover if you wanna get fancy. <laughs> All right, looks like this is gonna be the top. Oh my gosh, look at those pretty autumn colors. Look at the box. Look at her. I, oh my gosh, that looks so, so, so good. Oh my gosh, you guys, okay, here, let me just kind of show you bits of the canvas. Wow, oh, you know what, in the original artwork, I didn't notice the stars and the constellations in the background, that's pretty. I should go read up on what Ivy Dolomore's kind of story or inspiration behind this piece is. I love that, I love that, all right. I know it feels very fall, 
in terms of like how it, it looks, but I feel like this could certainly be like in any, any time of year type piece. Okay, so as far as what else is included, we have our diamonds, which we'll look at more closely in just a little bit. You're also going to get a pamphlet with a couple helpful things in it here. We have some information about what's included in your kit, a link to a beginner video. I also have one, it'll be linked below. And then there's a link to the VIP Facebook group, which is a handy resource once you've made your first purchase. Uh, some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you on how to diamond paint, as well as some tips and tricks, another discount code, and uh, QR codes that'll take you to the mobile app, which you do get 20% off your first purchase through the app as well. Like I said, discount codes abound here. <laughs> here is a larger sticker sheet, you guys. There's the title, again, The Spiral by Ivy Dolomar, a spot to write your start and end date, and then there is the original artwork. Isn't that so gorgeous i love it now it's interesting to me when i look at the at the rendering kind of how they interpreted it like there's in the original artwork there's tons and tons of details oops i was trying to do this one-handed um in like the girl and you can like see her face and whatnot but i i appreciate that they didn't try to somehow make that work it still looks very just smooth and neat and works for the size point that we're working with so um that just that makes sense otherwise this would have to be enormous uh, there is some info at the bottom as far as the stats again and then over here on the right hand side we have a set of pre-cut sticker labels um i do like to use these a lot actually they're very convenient with uh kitting up my diamonds into storage containers i like that i can then just peel off the label and put it on my containers there um so this kit's gonna have 45 colors, the color code system you see in the right-hand column. This comes from the DMC color code system, which is, that is the DMC brand of Floss, and most diamond painting companies use this system. Diamond Art Club has a couple of exceptions, though. Anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. We're gonna have two of those in this kit, and I will explain more about those when we're actually looking at the diamonds. And in addition, if you look at the very end of the color list, sometimes you will see uh, some col a color or colors that have a letter at the beginning, and this denotes other various kinds of special drills. In this case, Z is gonna be a special kind of diamond called a fairy dust diamond. So we will take a look at that, but first, uh, before we get to the diamonds, let me show you a little bit more about the canvas. So there is their branding at the top, Do It Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. Uh, the edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished, and then the backing on the canvas is, is pretty soft, and the overall canvas material is really uh, sturdy, and it holds diamonds really well, and I think just does uh, a really nice job of, you know, being something to place your diamonds on, especially in combination with the poured glue that's on this canvas. It's very sticky. The plastic cover, you guys, we are starting to see more and more that we are getting the this new plastic cover that Diamond Art Club has created and I think patented. Um, it's a perforated plastic cover. Now, let me try to show you here. Okay, you can kind of see, you see it there with my light kind of glinting off of it. Um, there's these perforated lines in the plastic cover. Each of these sections, I did measure it. It is four by four inches or about 10 by 10 centimeters. And the plastic feels a little bit thicker. The nice thing is if you do not wanna work with these perforated sections, you don't have to, frankly. I might still stick to my washi tape uh, that I like to use to section off with. Um, but in that case, it's it doesn't just tear super easily, which is nice. However, um, if you do wanna use these sections and tear off the sections as you work, you kind of just pull and it just comes right apart there. It's really nice. I'm curious to actually work on a canvas that has this cover so that I can see what the experience of working with it is like in, you know, practical, practical sense. So anyway, um, there is a legend or a color code list at the top left, as well as over here at the bottom right. And then at the bottom left, uh, there is information about the kit. Again, there's the thumbnail. Um, there's the title again, the spiral, the size, and then copyright Ivy Dolamore. Um, this is really important because this is one of the things that lets us know that this piece is legally licensed. All of Diamond Art Club's kits are. They are licensed from the artist. Uh, and it, what this means is that the artist has both given permission for the use of their artwork as well as is being fairly compensated for it. That's really important to me because art theft abounds in the crafting world and I am all about supporting companies that are doing right by artists. Down here we have their socials and yet another discount code. And over here we have info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're, you're covered under that lifetime warranty. And um, 
I got, I think they have all the details on the website if you're curious. Um, looking at the drill field, the symbols are printed really clearly. This is again going to have square shaped diamonds and there's those light grid lines to help you line them up. And we do have a good amount of color blocking. Color blocking is when you have a lot of the same uh, color in a small area like this. You'll be able to use a multi-placer if you like, you know, have that color in your tray for longer. We have some of that here as well. And there are some areas, like I suppose you could say her eye, and I'm sure up, up as we get further there, we'll see areas of what we call confetti, which is where you have more color changes in a small area. And areas like that will take a little bit longer because you, oh yeah, up here we have a lot. <laughs> okay, um, like over here, it'll take a little bit longer because you might be changing out the color in your tray more often and doing more single placing. Um, but the payoff is usually really nice with the level of detail that you do get. There's our little fox friend. I love the fox. I love foxes. <laughs> They're just, they're the best. Um, and then we have, gosh, these like fiery autumn colors up here. Yeah, this kit has a nice mix of color blocking and confetti. And I do like it when there's a mix because confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. Background has, the sky has a little bit of like color blocking in here. Over here, we do have some bats. This definitely gives some distinct, I have to admit, some very distinct Halloween vibes. Like that's really the, the feeling that it gives, but, um, I feel like people work on witch kits year round, really. Uh, let me grab my measuring tape. Ooh, I almost knocked over, knocked over my water. Okay, let's see. Let me, this will be easier. Typically Diamond Art Club's kits do run true to size, but I always like to double check. I've caught at like an, a misprint every once in a while, where it's like the centimeters, centimeters would be correct, but not the inches. Okay, so it's almost 79 inches and we're listed as 78.7. Okay, perfect. And then this way, um, we're at about 55 and a half and it's listed as 55.8. Okay. So yeah, I will call that, I'll call that true to size. <laughs> All right. Let's get, take a look now at the diamonds together. Uh, so there's this pack of diamonds and there is a sticker here that tells you what kit these go with in case you store these, um, separate from each other, uh, and outside the box they came in. So there is our color spread. There's like a random straggler set of a couple of colors there, but gosh, all those pretty warm autumn colors. They're very happy. Okay. So here is this little straggler set of just these two. <laughs> uh, the diamonds, you guys, uh, they are making some space. Okay. Um, here we go. So they're very sparkly very shimmery, very faceted. A Diamond Art Club does make their diamonds in-house, which does let them make improvements and adjustments and sort of play with different things and look at ways that they can improve and upgrade. Uh, we do have a few bags of 310, and I feel like 310 can be sometimes a problem-prone diamond. I've been noticing issues with 310s from various companies lately, but I'll tell you what, these look these look exceptionally pristine. I wonder if they really did go back in and uh, make some notable improvements here. So that's really encouraging to see. Um, the DMC code is printed on these packages. They even added this little line underneath recently, which tells you, you know, which way is right side up because there are actually a few DMC color codes that, you know, if you flip it upside down, it still looks like a number and a DMC code. So I know there have been some mix-ups in the past with that. Lots of oranges. Oh, including our first special drill color, 132. This one, you guys, this is an AB diamond. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And just like the Northern Lights have a really pretty color shift effect, these have an iridescent coating on the top that just reflects a lot of different colors and is gonna catch your eye and really highlight the areas that has been charted in. So we have a nice big bag of that one. And we will go through and look at the canvas together and I will show you where you'll find the, the different special drill colors that we have. I'll show you where, where those will be on the canvas. I am all twisted up here, okay. Nope, still twisted. So many browns, every shade of brown and beige and kind of ivory. Yeah, this kit, this kit is not as heavy on special drills as some other kits I've worked with recently. I think the artwork maybe just doesn't lend itself to being overboard in terms of special drills. It is a little bit more 
um, just muted as far as the colors go. But you guys, here is our our one fairy dust color, Z3363. Let me zoom you in. You guys, do you see that beautiful glitter coating on the tops of these? These definitely have a different effect from ABs. They're more subtle. They have more of a shimmery or glimmery effect. And it's like someone just brushed, like someone just brushed a glitter coating on the tops of these. They're so pretty. I love fairy dust diamonds. They're my favorite special drill that Diamond Art Club carries so gorgeous okay so that's our that's our fairy dust color there should be one more a b okay yeah we do have it's an off-white it's like an ivory maybe a really pale beige a b 106 just a small handful of that diamond art club does include extra diamonds so you shouldn't run out uh, but if you were to run out you can contact their customer service and they should be able to send you replacements. Now let's find out where those special drills are gonna go. Uh, so we had the off-white AB, that there was just a little bit of, we had the light orange AB, which there was a lot of, and then the green fairy dust, which there was just a little bit of, and there's not much green in this kit, so I think I know where that at least is going to be. So if we're starting down here at the bottom, you guys, um, the lightest orange in her hair is the orange AB, and it's, it's just over here on this side. I don't see it over here, though I do see it right here. Again, it's that brightest orange. And then these, which are like the constellations, this white looks very white in camera. This is the off-white AB. It's in the center of the star. And then around the center of the star is an outline of the orange ABs. In the center of her eye, we have some of the, just like a cluster of three of the orange ABs and two of the off-white ABs. And then these constellations over here, the white you see is the off-white AB. It's over here as well. And in the center of each of these stars. And then the orange AB is in parts of the orange in these constellations, as well as around that white core of each of these stars. And there's a little bit of the orange AB on this part of her hair. Um, as we get up in here, let's see. Um, I do see bits of the green fairy dust in this greenery here and here. There's like four of the green fairy dust right here and uh, some more of it right here. Just gonna give it a little bit of shimmer. Um, the fox doesn't have any special drills. There are some orange ABs in the lantern here. Over here. There is some of the green fairy dust kind of woven throughout and at the top outline of these bushes. And then in the trees, the brightest orange you see in these trees all throughout, the very lightest and brightest orange you see in this whole section is going to be orange AB. Remember we had that big bag of, <laughs> of those orange ABs, so we're seeing where those go now. Over in this tree, it's the same thing. The lightest and brightest orange you see all throughout here is gonna be that orange AB. That's gonna make those look like they're just fiery. That's gonna be gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I'm checking to see if they snuck in any of the off-white AB in the top sky. I do not see, I don't see any. Um, so yeah, we're seeing those orange ABs in the trees and in, in this gal's hair. <laughs> um, and then the green fairy dust is just kind of lightly throughout the greenery in the top part of the canvas. And then the off-white uh, AB is mostly just the constellations, it looks like. Um, so yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like this piece has been really long awaited and is such an interesting piece to me in general. The artwork itself, um, I think is really, really interesting. And I've got to go read up on like what Ivy said about this when they shared it on their Instagram. Um, because yeah, I just, it's one of those ones that I feel like you look at it and just kind of try to I don't know if you if you like to dive into sort of the meaning behind artwork it would be really interesting to do i think this is beautifully rendered i am curious to see how this is going to look i know that faces are really tricky and often are just from what it seems to me to be a determining factor in how large a kit is going to be and so i think this is a really interesting choice on diamond art club's part and i am hoping that the overall effect of that part of the painting is uh, the, the gal there is still going to come through really well and I am optimistic especially when you see it in the context of the whole thing and I, I gotta say the fox is the fox is my favorite part for sure <laughs> but anyway you guys 
let me know what you think down in the comments. This kit, along with the other new releases, are coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, December 23rd. And that is going to be at 9.30 a.m. Pacific or 12.30 p.m. Eastern time is the general release time. If you are in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you are going to get a half an hour early access window. I've noticed the past few weeks that um, those emails have been coming out more like exactly 30 minutes beforehand instead of the 45 minutes beforehand that it seemed like they were coming out for a while. Diamond Art Club has also added a feature on their website where if you're logged into your account and you're a Diamond member, if you're logged into your account and you go to the new arrivals section, the, the new releases should populate for you at exactly 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Um, so that is an option as well. So you don't have to wait on the email. Uh, but yeah, you guys, let me know what you think. Is this going to be on your shopping list this weekend? Is this a kit that you have been hoping was going to make it through voting and be turned into a diamond painting? I would love to hear from you down in the comment section below. But I'm going to let you go. Feel free to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with uh, the diamond painting content I put out. Like I do a lot of unboxings and reviews and um, tutorials and whatnot. And I'd love to have you here. Thanks so much for watching. Best of luck if you're shopping this weekend. And I hope that you have a day and a weekend that is as wonderful as you are. Happy holidays if you're celebrating. And I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.